Hey guys, so I'm here in Virginia fishing for muskie. And I have a, a real steady pressure bluebird skies and it's been pretty slow. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of do a rundown of my kayak setup and what you need for fishing for muskie. So I, I get a lot of people asking me, you know, how do I rig my kayak for muskie? What do you, what do you need for fishing for muskie? Muskie fishing in a kayak is by far my favorite thing. And I know a lot of people are excited about it, but it's really important that you have the proper tools that are necessary for both your safety and the fish's safety. So let me run over quickly kind of what I use here and how I set my kayak up. So a lot of you know, I fish out of the Hobie Pro Angler 14 um, for the majority of the time. Uh, yes, you can use bigger kayaks, bigger pedal drive kayaks in a river and skinny water. Um, it works really well. I've been musky fishing out of a kayak for about six years now, five or six years. Um, I used to do it sitting down. Uh, I sat down in the kayak. I had a Jackson Cuda and I put plenty of fish in the boat, but knowing what I know now, having the ability to stand is a game changer. Makes your life so easy. That's why I love my kayak. I can stand up. You can see follows. You can actually effectively figure eight um, and kind of read the fish. And it's really cool to see that. And not just that, it gets really tough casting 12 ounce baits all day, 16 ounce baits all day when you're sitting down. I mean, it's, it's hard enough as it is. So having a kayak you can stand in with stability for these big fish, huge perk. I bring about four big boxes of baits with me at all times. Uh, you just, you really never know what those fish are gonna want. So I like to kind of be prepared. Um, the H crate is awesome. Everything I need, whether it be for bass fishing, musky fishing, walleye fishing, pike fishing, I can get a the majority of my tackle for that species in my H crate. I always like to get the baits that I know I'm gonna use most often out um, and I hang them on the side of my H crate. That way they're close to my seat, they're easy to grab, I can, tr I can switch baits quickly if need be. So I keep my tools here. Um, the, the tools that you need for musky fishing, long nose pliers, cutters, and jaw spreaders. Must have these tools in your kayak at all times. All times no exceptions so I always carry three rods with me when I'm musky fishing um, all are equipped with the Shimano tranks I've got kind of a utility rod I've got a moderate action crank rod and my baby my legend tournament with my 401 Shimano tranks. So when I'm fishing, two of these rods will be in my rod holders at all times. Um, you have no idea how many times I've been fishing with rods back here and I, I hook up and the fish will the fish will drag me like closer to a bank and I'll get hung up in the branches and it's as if musky fishing isn't chaotic enough. You don't want that always put your rods in the rod holders or at least down on the kayak, at least for the ones you're not using. Always, always, always. One thing that I do when I'm musky fishing to make sure that that fish is in and out of the water as quickly as possible, I run my GoPros on video all the time. Um, I can, that way, if I wanna get a picture, I can just take a still quickly. So, you know, like I said, couple seconds holding the fish up, back down it goes. Um, I'll show you my camera mounts that I use. I run two of them. So that way, if I want a different angle, I, I really don't have to worry about messing with cameras when I've got a giant muskie in my net. So I run the Ram Mounts Tough Pull. 
you can see this thing's pretty long and with this angle um, this is how I can get myself kind of standing up hooking the fish fighting the fish what have you and then up front here I run another smaller tough pole um, this is for your your grip and grins also quick little secret here um, GoPro batteries are awful in the cold and if y'all can't tell it's cold I mean it's 35 degrees here right now so what I do I put those little hand warmer those uh grabber hand warmers in a sock and I kind of make a little beanie <laughs> for my GoPro um, this increases the life of your GoPro tremendously oh I also I run battery packs always um, I can usually film all day with that but that sock and hand warmer life saver so in this particular situation, I'm river fishing. I almost never use an anchor fishing a river um, with heavy current. That's a really easy way to flip your boat and you just never know. Unless I have an anchor with a float and even then in heavy current, deeper water, it, it's just not worth it. Um, I do bring a small anchor in case I wanna just reinforce some stability when I'm coming up shallow to taking a break, whatever. I need to do but I always make sure that I'm not dropping an anchor in deep water or heavy current and last but not least the net making sure you have a net big enough to where the muskie can comfortably hang out while you're getting stuff together um, you want to reduce the time the fish is out of the water as much as you can. Ideally, that fish should not be out of the water longer than 15, 20 seconds at most. Um, luckily, in the, in, the, in the heart of the winter, it's cold and these fish revive quick, but it's always a good kind of thing to practice getting the fish in and out as quickly as you can. So I use the Ranger nets it took me a long time to find a musky net that I liked for the kayak. The biggest thing with the net you want to find, light, weight, and deep. Those are the two most important things. Uh, musky are notorious for death rolling and absolutely freaking out once they hit the net. So having something deep enough to where they can kind of chill out while you are able to get the, the hooks out and say, removed quickly is imperative. Also, landing a fish in the kayak isn't always easy. Um, lightweight is huge. A lot of guys will cut the shaft um, so you have an easier time kind of scooping that fish up and maneuvering that net. That's a great idea. I like the telescoping nets so you can kind of adjust the length of the handle. It works really, really well. So a lot of times to reduce wind resistance, I will keep my net right here on the hatch of my Pro Angler. Um, this is a Ram Mounds a paddle holder. I actually use that for the net. If it's not super windy and I want a little more space up here, I just keep my net right back here in these rod holders. So you just want to make sure you put your net somewhere where you can easily access it um, and not make sure it's not hung up on anything that might be in your kayak. So, quick recap before I get back on the water here. The essential things you need before you're ready to start kayak musky fishing. Proper tools, long nose pliers, jaw spreaders, and cutters. Large net. Um, if you're into taking pictures, the camera mounts, set them up ahead of time and plenty of excuses for your spouse as to why you were on the water for 16 hours, seven days a week, chasing the elusive fish of 10,000 casts. Alrighty guys, so that pretty much covers everything you need to get ready and catch your first big muskie in the kayak. It is awesome. Best of luck to you all. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. Good luck.